So now that you've watched some of the videos on conductors, both the pre-lectures and some of the virtual lecture videos, you're ready to start working on the worksheet. Now, if you haven't watched those videos and you haven't looked at anything in the textbook, you're probably not ready to work on the worksheet. And I'm not going to give you all the answers, but I am going to give you some hints. So just as a quick overview, you've got four questions that you're going to be answering on this worksheet. The top one is a conceptual question. In a conductor, which atomic particle is free to move? And you're going to be filling this in with a word. Now, I'll give you a clue. The word will either be proton, neutron, or electron. Those are the type of atomic particles we're talking about. If you're not sure which one it is that's free to move in a conductor, go back and watch the other videos. I'm not going to give you any more hints than that. You have to actually look it up.